Hey guys, Robert Tree Girl here again with another video. Today it's gonna be a video that all you guys have been requesting. Uh, basically answering questions about guinea pigs and what I mostly get out of the um, comments. Um, so guinea pigs are very easy to raise. Very easy to raise, literally. They are good in the outside. A lot of breeders, like myself, uh, breed these guys outside because, you know, they're breeders. They're not pets for us. And so they do amazing in the cold, okay? They're not like rabbits. They're uh, in, the, in the summer, they don't need a water bottle in there for make sure they're, they don't they don't um, go overheated. Basically, um, you don't do that with guinea pigs. Guinea pigs have their own temperature. Although I've never seen it with guinea pigs, I don't know if that's something new or something I should do. But I've never seen it with guinea pigs. They do really good in the hot and the cold weathers. Um, so that's very important to know. Uh, one more thing is that guinea pigs are always hungry. They're always gonna be hungry. They're literally pigs. They're always hungry. Does not matter how many times you feed them. Does not matter how many times um, you put, uh, uh, you know, some fruit vegetables. They will always be hungry all the time. That's just what guinea pigs are. And when guinea pigs squeal, it does not mean they're hungry or anything. It just means they're happy. It just means that they're very excited to see you. Is it means that every time they see you, it's feeding time. Um, so that's why they squeal all the time, and I'm getting so tired because of the camera. Oh my, cause my hand. Okay, but guinea pigs are very, very important also. You have to be very careful with them too. Because if you have them in the floor, okay, you have them in the ground, right? Um, you're going to be very careful with parasites, very careful with a lot of bugs that will be under there. Um, you got to clean them regularly because of the poop. You don't want them to be stepping on the poop either because that's really nasty. Uh... So to make sure it doesn't smell bad, you kind of have to make sure to clean it regularly and, you know, just like that. A lot of breeders like myself raise these guys for uh, pet stores. Um, normally, you know, I would get a call about, um, let's say, Petco, let's say, Petco PetSmart, uh, that they're wanting more guinea pigs or that they need more guinea pigs. Uh, usually, I would go over there, though, and um, see what they need and stuff like that, or usually they will call. But in the most regular time, um, I'm not the only breeder here, so there's a lot of more breeders um, here where I live. So, you know, they're never out of guinea pigs. Uh, sometimes they will be out of them only because if it's not seasonal to breed them, then, you know, there's no guinea pigs. But there will be other breeders that will breed them, like, literally any time of the season. I'm not like that. Uh, we do have the males and the females together right now because it is um, breeding time. So... Basically, these guinea pigs will have babies in a month. Um, it usually takes a month to have babies. Uh, but some, you know, some guinea pigs, like, like rabbits, uh, take a little bit less or a little bit more time. Like, seriously, it's just, it's just like that. You, you never know when to expect them. Um, they have about, uh, I think the, the least I've had are three babies. And the more, I think, is five babies. So they can have from three to five babies. There's guinea pigs that have six, seven babies. I don't know how that's possible. But there is some guinea pigs that will have more babies. And some guinea pigs that won't, won't only have one baby. It just really depends. But the average is three to five babies per guinea pig. And they do breed all the time. You know, when they get, when they get birth, the male will try to breed them again. Um, so it's just basically the rabbits. If you own rabbits, basically the same thing. You got to know about that. Um... A lot of people are asking me about the food container. Like, where do I maintain the food? Where to make sure the food is okay? And this is where I maintain my food. Um, this is just. But this is where I put my food. The feet of the guinea pigs. All right. This is two. Hey, hold on. Okay. Okay. This is. Temp. Okay. These are the food guys. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, let me open that real quick. As you can see, um, this is the feed. Uh, what, we, what we feed basically is, you know, these pellets, which are, they can be rabbit pellets or guinea pig pellets, doesn't really matter. We feed them our varieties of pellets. Um, usually what you want to feed them is pure pellets, hay, and some fruit and vegetables. 
fruits and vegetables is an option. You don't have to feed them fruit and vegetables. That's just an option, you know, for them to to munch on and stuff like that. But the number one thing that they do need is pellets. Now, these pellets are just, you know, pellets, um, alfalfa pellets, or sometimes you can even feed them rabbit pellets, guinea pig pellets. I think it's just the same thing. Because, honestly, you just have to make sure it has all the nutrition, all the values, and this that's just garbage, and all the good things um, that these things have. If you don't feed them good food, then they will literally not die, but they will be very, very skinny, and you don't want that. Now, as you can see, there's chunks right here, right? You see the chunks? So these are actually um, because of the rain. It was raining here yesterday, all early all day, and my feet was literally in that bucket right there, that white one, and so it got, you know, busted. Now, the guinea pigs will, can eat this. This is literally just like powder, so if you like munch it, is like powder so it really doesn't matter if you, the guinea pigs um uh, nothing will happen to guinea pigs if they eat that so yeah so now i'm gonna show you guys the guinea pigs and where i put the feed in the water and all that kind of stuff so we make sure this is a actually a dog food container you can see right there a 50 pound um container so we're actually gonna put these there's actually two of them and then we're gonna put this tarp over it because here where I live, it rains a lot, so we don't want it to damage it or anything. Okay, now this is where, uh, this is the upper part of it, right? It's all messy, it was windy, and it was clearly crazy, all right? This is a pond next to it. If you're, if you see my videos, you know what pond and why is that pond right there and what was in that pond. So, you have some wood on the top, just to make sure there's no rain in there. You know, you want to be secure. And these are the guinea pigs. Now, as you can see, um, we feed them pellets, and they're literally, um, they're literally, um, you know, making noises, a lot of noises, actually. And, yeah. So, let me tell you guys a little secret about guinea pigs, though. These are my guinea pigs. I'm going to introduce you um let me see that right there is a female that right there is a female that right there is a female that right there is another female a male and the one over there trying to drink water is another male over there all right number one thing that these guys would do literally they drink water like crazy all right so we're gonna put some water in here real quick uh, this is, I do, I do feed them in these, um, uh, this is an extra small uh, water container that just brings out water, basically, from the top, so you can see that. Um, so I'm gonna feed them, feed them water in a second. Um, this is, um, just basically like puppies or, you know, containers that will come. I just put them like that because I think it's easier for me. Um, it's been raining like crazy, like I said, and I don't want the feet to be damaged or wet. Um, because it just makes a mess, to be honest. Um, so, they're all over here. I don't know. I think they want water. So that's why they're up here. That one is my female, and she's about to give baby. So, watch for that video. Um, yeah. So, see how happy these guys are? This is my youngest one right there. So, she's not having babies yet. She's young. Uh, but, you know, my big fat mommy's like, down right there is pregnant. Down right there might be pregnant. I don't think she is, but might maybe. That one is pregnant. You can tell because of the sides. Um, if you want me to make a separate video of how to tell guinea pigs to be pregnant, um, I can make it for you guys. But just let me know. But as you can see, uh, these are the small. They're basically the same thing. They're about... Uh, hmm, I'm not sure how many they can contain, but they're the same thing. There were four bucks at Walmart, so basically good. We put them some hay right here, and in, inside there, um, you can see my run is very large, very big. Um, over there actually is the poop area and where they sleep, okay? In the back of where they sleep, that little eagle right there, they poop, okay? So, they guinea pigs are not trained to poop or anything, but they know where to poop. It's so funny. And um, we have the water bottles over there, you know, because, you know, some guinea pigs just come um, trained with drinking water bottles from there. But I, okay, what are you guys doing? Male for female, they're fighting, right? They're, that one's a male, that one's a female, okay? 
um, guinea pigs can be territorial, as you can see, literally, right there. Um, they're territorial, especially when babies come. So males will will be there with the babies, and the females um, will be there with the babies more. But I feel like the male is more the more, you know, dominant when it comes to babies that I've seen, to be honest. Um, I know there's no babies up there. Um, okay, so I'm going to... Put some water in here, and then I'm going to tell you guys the rest. So there they are, drinking away. I'm telling you guys, these guinea pigs drink a lot of water, as you can tell. But they also get the water so freaking yucky. But that works good. I mean, they can drink water. And all of these guinea pigs are bowl feeding water, basically, because... In the winter time, um, you guys should know that the water bowls, um, the water bowls, the water bottles freeze, right? And then the nipple thingy doesn't want to come out, nothing of water. So, I think bowls are better in winter, to be honest. It's easier, you know, to clean. It's easier to, you know, make sure it doesn't freeze. It's just easier, to be honest. I don't know. But, yeah. So, yeah, they're very thirsty. Very thirsty little things. They drink a lot of water, I'm telling you. Alright. I think I have covered everything that you should know about guinea pigs. Make sure they, they're healthy. Make sure they have everything they need. Make sure they have hay at all times. Hay, okay? Hay, all times. Get Timothy hay. You can get... Um, I don't know what, what really types of hay there is but to be honest i only get timothy hay so timothy hay it is um for my guinea pigs um alfalfa mm, it's good too you know basically any hay but make sure they have hay at all times um guinea pigs are not like rabbits they do not uh, make a nest you know with hay in their mouth and you know and they don't take fur out either like rabbits um yeah, so they don't do nothing like that because the babies are born with fur and open eyes and ready to freaking eat. So, yeah. Although, do guinea pigs do uh, feed their young, though, uh, with their milk. So, that's good to know. Alright, guys, it's pretty much it. Be, I don't know what else to say. If you have any more questions, concerns, you know, anything, please comment down below. Do what you do. And like always, goodbye. God bless.